a quick tip. Before you start the video, check out the description box down below. Say no to alcohol, but if it doesn't listen, unfortunately, you can't do anything about it. Hello guys, how's it going? We often wish for a drink to kick back and have fun with friends, but watch out, overindulging can mess with your body, mind and judgment. From short-term hiccups to long-term woes, alcohol has a whole bag of tricks up its sleeve. Today, we're gonna unravel these tricks and have a whole discussion about alcohol, so stay tuned. What is alcohol? Alcohol is a toxic, psychoactive and dependence-producing substance and has been classified as a group 1 carcinogen. It has been labeled as a top cancer risk by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, along with asbestos, radiation and tobacco. But my drink is really expensive, it cannot be that bad. It can cause at least 7 types of cancer including common ones like bowel and breast cancer. Alcohol causes cancer because it breaks down into harmful compounds in the body. This means any alcoholic drink, no matter how expensive or well-made, can increase the risk of developing cancer. The risks start with the very first drop of alcohol. To identify a safe level of alcohol consumption, Scientific evidence would need to show that there is a certain amount below which alcohol causes no risk of illness or injury. The new WHO statement clarifies that current evidence does not indicate a threshold at which alcohol's carcinogenic effects switch on and begin to affect the human body. It has an impact on many organs in the body, such as Number 1. Your liver Your liver is a remarkable organ with hundreds of essential functions. One of its main roles is to neutralize various toxic substances you consume, making it particularly vulnerable to alcohol damage. Alcohol consumption can lead to a range of liver diseases known as alcoholic liver diseases. The first sign is fatty liver which occurs in 90% of people who drink more than half an ounce or 15 milligrams of alcohol per day. In heavy drinkers, binge drinking can cause liver inflammation. And in severe cases, liver cells die and are replaced with scar tissue, leading to cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is an irreversible condition associated with many serious health problems. In advanced stages, a liver transplant may be the only treatment option. Number 2. Your brain Excessive alcohol consumption can have many negative effects on your brain. Ethanol interferes with communication between brain cells, causing symptoms of drunkness. Binge drinking can even lead to blackouts, where you experience memory loss during heavy drinking episodes. While these effects are temporary, chronic alcohol abuse can cause lasting brain damage, leading to impaired brain function. This can increase the risk of dementia and brain shrinkage in middle-aged and older adults. In severe cases, alcohol-included brain damage can make it difficult for people to live independently. Number 3. Your heart The relationship between alcohol and heart disease is complex and depends on various factors. Light to moderate drinking is linked to a reduced risk of heart disease, while heavy drinking increases the risk. However, it is advised that if you don't drink, don't start, and if you do drink, limit your intake. Moderate alcohol consumption may have some benefits, such as raising good or HDL cholesterol in your bloodstream, lowering fibrinogen levels help reduce blood clots, decreasing the risk of diabetes is a major risk factor for heart disease and temporarily reducing stress and anxiety. It also may affect your mental situation. Number 1. Depression Alcohol intake and depression are closely linked in a complex relationship. While both can increase the risk of the other, 
Alcohol abuse is often the stronger casual factor. Many people with anxiety and depression drink to reduce stress and improve their mood. Although alcohol might provide short-term relief, it can worsen overall mental health and create vicious cycle. Since heavy drinking can be a major cause of depression, addressing alcohol abuse can lead to significant improvements in mental health. Number 2. Addiction Some people develop alcohol dependence or alcoholism, which can significantly impact their lives. It's a major cause of alcohol abuse, disability and various diseases. Factors like family history, social environment, and genetics can contribute. Different subtypes of alcohol dependence exist, each with its own symptoms. If alcohol is negatively affecting your life, you may have alcohol dependence or alcoholism. Now that we know that alcohol is actually that bad, but still, if you drink red wine, there are some benefits to it. While there's evidence suggesting health benefits from red wine, health experts advise against starting alcohol consumption if you're a non-drinker. However, if you enjoy alcohol in moderation, red wine could be a favorable choice. Compared to white wine, red wine may offer more health benefits due to its higher antioxidant content, stemming from the fermentation process involving grape skins. Number 1 blood pressure control. Number two, reduced risk of Alzheimer's. Number three, lower risk of diabetes. Although some studies suggest health benefits from drinking red wine, it is important to consider these against the risks and be aware of the dangers of alcohol abuse. In summary, this conversation highlights the complex relationship between alcohol and health. While moderate consumption may offer benefits, it's vital to weigh them against the risks, including addiction and health complications. Remember, moderation is key to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the video on the end screen. Until the next video, goodbye.